guys welcome back to my channel today I'm bringing you another makeup tutorial and this time it's featuring a full face of Tarte Tarte is one of my favorite brands and I'm sure if you click this video you probably like it as well it is cruelty free a lot of their products are vegan and it's just really great stuff so I've already toned and moisturized and the first thing I'm going to start with is the maracuja oil and I'm basically just going to take it and put it all over my face. A um, little bit over here on my cheeks. This kind of just helps to give like a moisture um, beyond the moisturizer. I'm kind of going for like that dewy sort of summer look. So it's going to help just add a little bit of more of a glow to your all over foundation. I've also heard this stuff really works wonders for your hair. For the foundation, I'm doing the Shape Tate Matte Foundation. And I got the color Light Sand. I'm pretty fair complected. I don't typically try to get tan unless it's like some sort of a um, self tanner or a spray tan. So this should probably work pretty well for me, especially to blend into my neck because it's a little bit lighter. Basically, I'm just gonna give a generous amount around my face and use my beauty blender. I also always like to spray my beauty blender with some sort of setting spray. So here's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea setting spray. And we are just going to blend away. It's definitely a nice matte look, but I feel like it doesn't give you like complete entire full coverage. Um, I do have like a lot of freckles and stuff though, so that's always kind of tough to completely disguise those. Okay, and for concealer, we're using the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. I got this in Fair Neutral. I like to get it just a tad bit lighter than my actual foundation. So I just like to do it under my eyes. Just a tiny bit on top of my nose. A little bit here at my chin and above my lip line. And sometimes I like to also do it just down here on my cheekbone. Not my cheekbone, my jawbone, what am I saying? And I'm not really trying to ever um, use it on my forehead. I feel like I get a lot of congestion up there and it's something that's just not really 100% necessary. It's a beauty blender, blend all that out. So concealer's on, foundation's on. I don't normally do this, but I didn't really get any of the Tarte Brow products. So what we're gonna do is use one of the shadows from my Tarte Lip Palette. And I think there's gonna be something that's gonna work. Okay, so first, I'm gonna comb them out a little bit. Start by just brushing them up. Getting them nice and ready. I have a brow brush on the other side. This is one I just picked up from Ulta by e.l.f. It was super cheap. Honestly, I, we'll see. Hopefully it works pretty well. The color I'm gonna use is Dreamer. That one right there. I like to always go just a tad bit darker on my brows just because they're pretty thin. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and kind of make that shape first. And then I'm going to try and blend it up a little bit towards the top. One side done. Let's hope the other one works out well as well. I really like this brush. It's like super smooth. Like it just, it looks like it's blending very, very nicely without really having to fuss too much with it. All right, eyebrows done. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is my eyes. I just got this the other day. It is the Park Avenue Princess Chrome Paint. It is super, super messy. I am going to say that. I opened it up and I touched it on my eye and the littlest bit of powder got all over my sink and it was kind of a pain in the butt to clean up, but it looks gorgeous. Um, it's nice on its own. I wore it on its own the other day. It adds a very nice sparkle. So what I'm going to do first though is kind of um, 
give my eyes a little bit more dimension. So what I like to do with this Tartlet palette, which I've had forever by the way, it's lasted me like two years now, I wanna say. Um, this is the Amazonian Clay Matte Palette. And I always like to start um, under my eye. I use Super Mom a lot and I use Free Spirit as well occasionally. So I just take it and I like to do it right underneath my brow bone just to give it a little bit of definition. Now we're looking a little brighter. For a base shadow, I am going to use Wonder. Actually, no, I'm not gonna use Wonder. I'm gonna use Caregiver, because I wanna keep it kind of light so I can build up that layer with the chrome paint. Okay, so now for eyeliner. I'm gonna do the eyeliner next just to get it on first and then I'm gonna put the chrome pot on because like I said, it gets super, super messy. So for the eyeliner, I have the Sex Kitten. I've honestly not used this yet. I've had it for a really long time. I got it in one of the box of styles. So let's give it a whirl. It's very precise. And it's been a long time since I've put eyeliner on. I can tell you that. I always like to do like a little bit of a wing cat eye. Try to get the other side here. Now I'm just gonna let it dry for a minute. And meanwhile, we will move on to the cheeks and highlighter. I got this uh, Blush and Glow Duo. It's a highlighter blush combination. Really, really neutral here, nothing crazy at all. So what I'm gonna do first is do the blush. And I really do like to use bronzer. I just didn't really have anything from Tarte that was a bronzer by the time I was making this. So it's all good. We're gonna work with just this. So I just like to take it, just do a little bit of a swipe and then go into the apples of my cheeks. Add just a nice little hint of color. They always say smile. So you can really get, you know, where you want that glow to be. Ooh. All right, very nice. Okay, moving back to the shadow pot. Mm -mm -mm. I'm really excited. I love this stuff. I'm so happy I got it. I really didn't know what I was gonna think about it and I'm just like obsessed, it's so much fun. So when you open it up, I don't really wanna tip it too much, like super loose pigment. You kind of have to like work it with your brush and make sure it grabs just a tiny bit. So you kind of just have to dip your brush in and you have to sort of press it down and just kind of hope that you get a little something to stick. So very carefully here, I'm gonna go in. It has like almost like a sunset vibe. Like it's, let me show you up close. It's very like, Warm, that's a good word to say, it's very warm. And for the highlighter, we're just gonna use the other side of this Blush and Glow palette. It's really, really subtle. By the way, I got my brush set at Target. They have a lot of pretty um, affordable, good brush sets if you're not looking to spend so much. I can't really tell if I'm getting any, okay, let's see. So for the highlighter, I always like to do it above my cheekbones and like kind of move it up just a little bit, kind of in that motion. Get a nice pretty glow going on. And just a touch above my lip. Hopefully it doesn't like make my lip look like it's sweating. I just wanna have like a little more dimension. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is our lips. I forgot exactly what this one's called. I'll definitely find out and link it below, but I know the color is Salt Life. And I'm not using um, lip liner, lip gloss, or anything like that. I'm just gonna leave this as is. There's a couple things I feel like, you know, I would have liked to have. And there you have it. A full face of Tarte Cosmetics. There's definitely other amazing products I wanted to try, but you know, I could only really get so crazy with it. 
hope you guys like this video um definitely subscribe i try to put out at least one different video a week um basically related to beauty or fashion or plant-based lifestyle all right guys have an awesome day and i will see you next time bye